Hey you guys, how are you? Sorry it's been such a long time since I last did a video. Um, I've been so busy with uni work. Um, just graduated, well I've just finished university on Thursday so I'm all done. I've got nothing else to do, like I don't know what to do with my life anymore. Yeah, so I've been out a lot. A lot. It's been disgusting, like my body and my liver are probably gonna like cave in on me pretty soon. But today I'm covering from a week of immense fun and I just thought I'd give you a wee catch up. So I'm gonna talk about a few things. The first thing is we just had our elections and like I don't like to talk about politics too much but I'm absolutely delighted with the outcome, SMP1, so I am very very happy at the moment. Um, I should probably have another drink to celebrate but I don't think my body would let me do that just today, so maybe tomorrow. I have another thing is I was watching Angie's Choice on YouTube earlier today and she is like I've never felt more connected to like something that some of the things that she was saying and um, it sounds really sad and it sounds really stupid but I was going to tell you um why Andrea and me have a bit in common because of her video but I decided just to you not know, forget about it it's pathetic and um, it's basically just a few people who are jealous of me through maybe my personality or through my career because I've obviously got quite a good job next year and they may not have the job or they may not have, um, I don't know, they just feel that they need to bitch about me all the time and I think it's really, really silly and really, really sad. But it, I mean, it does upset me sometimes because I'm the type of person that I don't like it when people don't like me, especially if they haven't got a reason. Like, I'd like to know why. And then, you know, I'd go about me being like, all right, okay, well, that's fine. I'll sort my problem or like, okay, we won't speak. But said person, he's actually uh, my boss and he speaks badly about me quite a lot. And I just don't, it's a bit of a situation, like, it's just really pathetic and really, really sad. But listen to Andrea and how she was saying that they're probably just, there's idiots, they've got something wrong in the head, it's totally true. So I think that, you know, they're just doing this for a reason and karma as well. Like, you know, good things come to good people, so he hasn't got a job next year, I have a good job next year. And he has obviously hasn't got very good life prospects, whereas sort of mine are looking up at the moment. So people just need to, you know, chill out and realise that there's better things in life than bitching about people. I mean, I'm 21, this guy's like a few years older than me. Seriously, like you're acting like you're 12. It's so sad, but I'm over it. Can't wait to graduate. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna punch him in the face, but I won't. Ugh, I just wanna like go and sp give him like a speech or something. I don't know, what do you think I should do? Do you think I should speak to him or like, um, the person's my boss and he's not giving me any shifts at the moment at work even though I told him that I was free to work the whole um, whole time like whenever he wanted me to work he's giving me nothing what do you think I should do? I've already complained about him to somebody higher and nothing really was done about it so I mean I'm only working there for another two weeks is, it, is there much point? Should I speak to him face to face? Should I? I don't know so let me know what you think I should do because it's just not fair and if anyone else has experienced this as well that'd be really good to know if you have or if you haven't or what your advice to me would be. Um, so besides that, like, I haven't been doing much, I haven't bought anything. I'm so scared. I'm going to America in a couple of weeks, so I'm sure I will have a very big haul when I come back from America. I'm going to go by myself, which is going to be very, very, very scary, but it's going to be really fun. I'm so excited. I hope it's sunny. Not like going to be sunbathing, to be fair. It's been like really nice weather in Scotland at the moment, so I should probably go outside, but I just don't want to. I don't feel like I should. Oh my goodness, I have the coolest thing ever. My flatmate gave me this for Christmas and it's a candle. I don't smoke, I've just got light to light my candles, right? You probably might not be able to see it, look. It changes colour. It's green. And then it goes to sort of red. And then purple. Maybe if I do this, I might see it a bit better. I don't know. Green. Anyway, I think it's the coolest thing in the world, so I'm kind of in love with it at the moment. Um, I've got my other candle here. I lit it. It smells so good. I can't really explain what it smells like. Just of yum. It smells of yum. Like mandarin and like cinnamon stuff, so. Okay, well I better go anyway, but if you guys have any requests for any videos, please let me know. And I will speak to you later. Bye!